Hello everybody, the Lawn Gnome is here. I have the right to see fine in Africa. So this is going to be the first of a whole bunch of videos that are just going to be hitting my channel rapid fire because as you all know I was on my hiatus recently and of course that wasn't going to prevent me from going to all of the awesome movies that came out in January and as you saw in my season premiere I said that January was actually my most anticipated month for films because there are just some amazing films to talk about in the month of January and we are going to be starting with Hidden Figures starring Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet and Tarja P. Henson. And this was a movie that I was really excited to see because it involves African-American women in the South in the 1960s working for the NASA space program in the time of the Cold War and the Russian and the U.S. space race. And it stars not just these three amazing actresses, but a tolerable Kevin Costner, Kristen Dunst, and Jim Parsons. So, it is the story of these three specific women, one who is just an amazing statistician, one who is a brilliant engineer, and one who is a manager of all the logistics girls in the African American Women's Division at NASA, and she feels that she is just getting treated so unfairly, so she wants to try and find a way to prove herself worthy, and she decides to tackle a little new piece of technology called the IBM. So, this is a fantastic movie from beginning to end. It's not the best movie, and I'll get to that in a minute, but it is definitely a well-done depiction of how things were going in terms of the space race, in terms of how people were being treated in the South because of the Jim Crow laws, and of course all the other historic events that were taking place right in the middle of it. And I also have to give this film great props because of the fact that they did in fact tip their hat to the recently departed John Glenn, who was a very good piece of this film. It has some great dramatic moments, it's got some great comedy. You also have a brilliant soundtrack done by the great Pharrell Williams. I had praised him for the movie Dope, and he really did a great job in this film for the music. I love all the songs, I listen to them, and the acting is fantastic too from everybody. Although I will say what I wasn't too happy about with this film was the fact that it didn't have the rewatchability that I really wanted to get from this movie. I enjoyed it in the theaters. It was a very good watch. But after I walked out of the theater, I just didn't think that this was a movie that I wanted to see again. Maybe because I thought it was a little long. Maybe I thought that it had a couple of very slow moments, even though I truly did enjoy it from beginning to end. But there's really no rewatchability here for me, nor is there a want to purchase this movie on DVD. But I will say that this is one of the hottest tickets in town next to La La Land in theaters, everybody. So if you want to see a very well done and fun film, I highly recommend that you see Hidden Figures, and I'm going to give it 3 out of 4. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please put your comments in the box below, and let's discuss Hidden Figures, and I will see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.